Is it worth it to pull for Yuri Mia's rerun? The short answer is yes. Out of the main pyro DPSs, Yoimiya is pretty up there. The only other pyro DPS that I think would out damage her would be Hu Tao. Yoimiya didn't have the best launch when she came out, but just like Kokomi, we found out that she's actually pretty good. Mostly for free to plays and low spenders, because she works right off the bat. Unlike Yoimiya, Hu Tao does need her C1 to work well. All of the Hu Tao mains do recommend you getting her at C1, because it generally just makes things easier. But as we all know, Getting two copies of a banner character is just not that easy for some of us. Not that you're dead set in getting your Armia, here's a quick guide on how to best build her. Let's start off with weapons. The Rust is definitely her best in slot for 4 star weapons. A nice base damage, a high 41.3% attack on the substat, and a really really good passive. Increasing your normal attack damage by 80% but decreasing your useless charge attack damage by 10%. It works absolutely wonders for Yoimiya. If you however have 5 star bows, Thundering Pulse is going to be your best bet. A nice base attack of 608 and a critical damage substat of 66.2%. And an amazing passive, increasing your attack by 20% and granting you Thunder Emblem stacks. Thunder Emblem stacks stack up a maximum of 3 times and they can be earned by auto attacking or using an elemental skill. These Thunder Emblem stacks increase your normal attack damage by 12, 24, and 40% respectively at refinement rank 1. But if you don't have that, Skyward Harp is going to be your best 5 star fit. A great, very high base attack disposition and a really good crit rate as a bonus substat. The increased critical damage from the passive does help, and the little amount of damage from the small AoE does help. From a little bit of testing, I realized that the Skyward Harp does out damage the Rust, but not by a lot, surprisingly. Another really good 5 star fit would be the Aqua Simulacra. Not that high of a base stat, but a humongous critical damage substat at 88.2%. The HP does help you tank a little bit more, which is always nice, but not necessary. And the passive is going to actually work. You are actually going to have a 20% damage increase because the auto targeting for bow characters is usually pretty trash. That means you're going to have to get up close and personal with the enemy just to hit the right target. It sucks, but it is what it is, and it kind of works if you have a shield. If you however have none of those, Moon's Moon and the buildable bow are also really good fits, with a good amount of damage and an attack substat. The passive on both are going to help out a little bit, but not that much. Onto artifacts, the best in slot for her has to be the 4 piece reminiscence set. If you however don't have that, a 2 piece reminiscence is a 2 piece gladiator or any artifact that, that has a plus 18% attack on the 2 piece is going to work perfectly fine. If you want to be a little bit more ballsy, you can put in a 2 piece gladiator and a 2 piece witches set to add to your pyro elemental damage bonus and the 4 piece witches set does work pretty well with your Emiya. But if you're going to farm for a 4 piece set, just farm for Reminiscence. For the circlet, you're obviously going to prioritize critical damage or critical rate depending on what you need more of. The goblet is obviously going to be pyro damage bonus and sands is going to be attack. You really don't need energy recharge or EM because those are kind of useless. For the substats on any of your artifacts, you're going to want to go with critical damage, critical rate and attack percent. The last one is really up to you, but if you do want to squeeze a little bit more damage, you can go for flat out attack. I would personally go for a little bit of energy recharge, that way I would have energy by the end of my rotation so I can activate my burst. It does help with you dealing a little bit more damage when you're switching to your sub DPS, and it's just nice to have enough energy for that 4 piece reminiscence set to kick in. Yoimiya's best supports are gonna be Benny Boy, Xing Shou, Yellen, and Zhang Li. Zhang Li because it's a bow character so she doesn't have a lot of health and she has to get really up close and personal with them. Benny Boy because damage and Yellen and Shu Cho for obvious reasons. Vaporize. I'm going to be making quick and easy guides like this in the future for different characters so stick around if you want to watch more. But for right now, thank you guys very much for watching and goodbye.